Good morning, this is Ursula. Here is my breakfast, that's my morning routine. And uh, I have the muesli here with mainly coconut, a little bit chia and fruits, whatever fruits we have, celery juice and the lemon water. We'll explain that later to you, but what is important is that first thing, you drink the lemon water and then take your time maybe 10-15 minutes before using, before drinking celery juice or a green smoothie. You can alternate that. And then after I drank that, that's the time I make the, the muesli with all the fruits I have, berries, etc., coconut, and this will all be explained later. So I take my time and this is already a habit because we have so many food habits and to go to healthy food habits is very important. The first step in the morning is that I squeeze half a lemon and I use it for two glasses of water. Now this is just to make water alive and also to have the body alkaline. Even if the lemon is sour, but it creates an alkaline environment. So to the lemon, I add now shungite water. I have here shungite stones and crystals. So I add it to the lemon, half water, and only then I add hot water to make it look warm. What we drink should have at least the temperature of our body, not too cold, not too hot. And then if you want, you can add a bit of honey. This one is now a, a cheaper commercial honey. You can of course have a, a very good raw honey. I don't have any at the moment. And then I'm taking a wooden spoon, a wooden spoon. We also eat with a wooden spoon and that has its reason because metal is not so conducive to our body system. Step of the morning routine is to make a juice from celery stalks. It's important that we drink the pure juice and not include the fiber. So this one is a masticating juicer. If you have another juicer, it's fine. But with this one, we save the enzymes. It's not pressing uh, with metal like here in that blender to the sides but it has uh, like a spiral thing inside. So I'm putting this here, and this is by the way, inspired by Anthony William, medical medium. You might know him. So here we add now the celery. And slowly, slowly, not pressing, just let it go down naturally. So bit by bit, I cut them short, so it's easier. After, after drinking the lemon water, we wait a bit, like 5-10 minutes or more before we drink the celery juice. So this is the result now of the clear celery juice. I usually drink two glasses in the morning, but I'm sure. If you don't have a masticating juicer, you can use any juicer. If you don't have a juicer, use a blender and then a cloth to sieve it through. This should not have any fibers. And this is absolutely cleaning your intestinal tract and revives the gut. Part of the breakfast after lemon water and celery juice, we now prepare for the coconut muesli. So I have discovered different kinds of coconut I can use here because I don't really have the fresh ones. There are many brands of this uh, desiccated coconut. I use this most of the time, but I also discovered frozen sliced coconut in an, uh, in a, an Asian shop and uh, so I have them here they're still a little frozen but I add warm water and this is the real coconut it's a 
small one from Africa and we will show later also how to use this one. So now um, I put in the blender this coconut slices add a bit Shanghai water Shanghai water means I have just put Shanghai stones in it so on here we have the hot water so that it really really brings out now the coconut milk and so I will blend it coconut milk and get the fiber for the muesli. So now I put it through a sieve to separate to separate the fiber from the milk because this is going to be milk and here's the fiber which I use for breakfast and you will see the interesting thing here is that we have used also the coconut skin around the meat of the coconut and that contains iodine there a lot of good minerals in it so here i have some of the fiber in the bowl for the muesli there's it is no grain no milk no sugar no dairy at all so here i add a few raisins sometimes dates i don't have dates at the moment so i cut now um, the half banana one and melon whatever fruits you have you can use berries in that case now I had half of a kiwi and pear some grapes you don't have to have so many you can also only use banana and apple or only apple whatever and here we have some pomegranate that goes into it as well and then I usually add a few nuts this in the case now walnuts better to soak it in the evening I did it and maybe a few chia seeds or linseed seeds or sunflower seeds just a bit so and then here I would use to sweeten it extra, which is not necessary, but I have date syrup. So I put a bit date syrup, it can be honey, for some it's good enough, like that. And then I add the milk. And now I have the milk for the day, I put it in a little container, keep it in the fridge. And after a while the thicker cream will be on top and I can use it separately from the milk. So this is my milk for the day, so I don't have to buy uh, plant milk. Sometimes I do, that I also use almond milk. And if I'm very much in a hurry in the morning, I don't want to go through the process of making the milk, I just put the dry fiber in a bowl and add some hot water and then the fruits. But, but this is ideal because the side product is now the milk. I'm living here with Ursula for a month now and I'm doing this morning routine for one month and I really feel super, super beneficial for my body and really healthy waking up. Um, I feel just really energized and yeah, um, high vibe, yeah. high vibe energy with food. It's really, really awesome. And yeah, I highly recommend to, to focus on on the body health because it's the foundation for all life and when the body is healthy everything else gets energized and the mind gets more clear and it is really really healthy for the whole body it is super important to focus on body health because it is makes the mind clear as well and it's the foundation for an amazing energized life full of joy <laughs> And I'm gonna enjoy this awesome, healthy breakfast now. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>